recently elected New York politician who was caught lying has exposed the ridiculousness of the New York eviction moratorium. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. The sister of George Santos facing eviction from her Elmhurst apartment on Queens Boulevard. The property owners claim Tiffany Santos hasn't paid rent since March 2020. According to court records obtained by Team 12 Investigates, Santos received more than $30,000 in July from the federal rent relief program that was developed during the pandemic. Despite receiving that rental assistance, her landlords claim she still owes them $40,000 in rent that, quote, has been entirely ignored and unpaid. A landlord ledger attached to the motion allegedly shows all of the rent charges and late fees Santos accrued from March 2020 through December 2022. It's unclear if George Santos is currently living or ever lived at this apartment with his sister. But he did list this Elmhurst apartment as his address on federal campaign finance loans. All right, so I have an interesting article for you today, and it's going over this politician up in New York who was basically caught in a web of lies. Now, this is absolutely ridiculous because, simply put, we know politicians are liars, but it's surprising to me that, for once, one of them has got caught and called out for all the lies that they're, you know, blasting out there. So... Not only did he lie about, you know, his resume and, you know, his supposed net worth, but he also lied about the fact that, hey, um, I can't afford to pay the rent and, you know, therefore we need protections from the eviction moratorium. So a landlord ended up losing tens of thousands of dollars to him and his relative because they weren't paying rent. Now, that is absolutely wrong, okay? But I, I like seeing this sort of article because it's a high-profile case that exposes exactly what a lot of small landlords and big landlords were going through all throughout the pandemic and that they're still going through right now because, you know what? There have been a lot of people who haven't been paid yet, okay? They have not recovered the money that they lost during the pandemic. And so when I hear a story like this, I got to, you know, put it out there. I want everyone to know exactly what's happening and exactly what's happening to landlords in particular. So before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. And maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. OK, what do you think of this lying politician? Now, I, I don't normally cover politics except when it intersects with something that has to do with landlords. So in this case, because this person was using and abusing the eviction moratorium, hey, I had to bring this case up. Now, regardless of what party that you represent, I believe the, the subject in this case is a Republican, right? It doesn't matter if it's a Democrat or a Republican. Simply put, you know, I don't like people who lie. I don't, okay? I, I can't stand liars and, you know, they, they ruin things for everyone, okay? This guy is a scumbag, obviously, and he needs to go. Okay, he should resign if you ask me, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion. So, uh, anyway, let me get into this article because the story is kind of interesting. This article is coming from News12LongIsland.com, and it says, Records show George Santos' sister owes $40,000 in unpaid rent at Elmhurst Apartment he listed as his address. So, yeah, the reason I, I say that, you know, he is partially responsible is because supposedly he was living there too, okay? If he's living there and this rent, $40,000 in rent is owed to the landlord, he should be partially responsible for that rent, okay? Meanwhile, he's saying that, oh, well, I'm, I'm a landlord myself. You know, he was claiming that he was a landlord. And he was going to stand up for property rights, yet he's doing stuff like this. This guy is garbage, okay? Don't fall for it. Anyway, let's get into the article. Records show George Santos' sister owes $40,000 in unpaid rent at Elmhurst apartment he listed as his address. Team 12 Investigates has learned that Tiffany Santos, the sister of Representative-elect George Santos, is facing eviction from her Elmhurst apartment, which Santos listed as his address on campaign finance loans. George Santos was reportedly spotted moving his belongings into the Elmhurst apartment on Queens Boulevard in late December, 
but three weeks earlier, the property owners filed a motion to evict his sister for allegedly owing nearly $40,000 in unpaid rent. They claim she has not paid rent since March of 2020. So yeah, let me get this straight. Supposedly, he's moving into this apartment where his sister's getting evicted? Now why, why possibly would he be doing that? Probably because the area that he supposedly is going to be representing, he has to live in that area and his sister lives in there right now. So he moved just to make it look like, or at least he's changed his address to make it look like he actually lived in the area that he's representing. You know, th this guy's a con artist, so I wouldn't doubt for one second that it was just a move on paper, that he doesn't actually live there. But, you know, it goes back on to, hey, w w what's the deal with this $40,000 in unpaid rent? Okay, what is the deal? Are you going to pay this rent now that you're li supposedly living there? Okay, you should, honestly. Or maybe you should find somewhere else to live. You know, <sighs> this guy is caught up in such a web of lies that you can't tell what is real and what is fantasy when dealing with him, okay? This is the sort of person that yeah, I wouldn't want as a tenant. A form filed with the Federal Election Commission lists the building at 9002 Queens Boulevard as his mailing address. According to court records obtained by Team 12 Investigates, Tiffany Santos applied for and received more than $30,000 in July for rent relief through the Federal Emergency Rental Assistance Program that was created during the pandemic. Despite receiving that assistance, her landlords claim she owes them $39,450 in unpaid rent, which has been entirely ignored and unpaid. Well, here's the thing, right? They say that, you know, oh, she actually did receive some emergency rental assistance, right? I wouldn't doubt that even if she did receive that 30 grand, right, that it went straight into her pocket and she never paid the landlord. I wouldn't doubt that for one second. Or here's another scenario, right? Maybe she paid the landlord the 30 grand and still owes them another 40 grand. Hey, rents aren't cheap and they didn't pay rent for three years. So it is entirely possible that over the course of three years, she owed nearly $70,000, okay? This is ridiculous, but I mean, it, it's 100% possible. <clears throat> A landlord ledger attached to the court motion shows all of the rent charges and late fees Tiffany Santos allegedly accrued from March 2020 through December of 2022. Meanwhile, George Santos loaned his own campaign hundreds of thousands of dollars. Representative-elect George Santos has previously faced eviction himself. Over the summer, he abruptly moved out of his home in Whitestone, where he was registered to vote. The news is in contrast to George Santos' claim that his family owns multiple properties. You know, his family probably does own multiple properties, but he doesn't. OK, he doesn't own the properties. He's renting. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, like I uh, my, my brother could say, well, my family owns multiple properties talking about me. Right. Well, my brother doesn't own multiple properties. I own multiple properties. <laughs> so, you know, th this guy, you know, he, he has a way with words. You know, I mean, I, I've watched a lot of videos on him. And, you know, to me, he just seems like, you know, slick willy, you know, like a, a straight liar telling people what they want to hear in order for him to get elected. And now he's just caught up in all these lies. You know, nothing adds up. And, you know, he, he's sitting here scamming. His sister is sitting here scamming. And you know what? Let's, you know, I don't like seeing politicians like this up in office, okay? I personally think we should get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Now, he's not in my area, okay? I live in Nebraska, okay? But here's the thing. New Yorkers deserve better representation than this guy here. I'm glad that, you know, it hit the national news that this guy was such a scumbag because simply put, if you're treating your landlords like this, if you are, you know, lying, telling all these lies like this, you don't deserve to be in Congress.